Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Ilhan Omar said two words to Fox News that no one ever thought they would hear. Ilhan Omar spent weeks on the hot seat. Scandals surrounding her bigotry threatened to end her career and sink the Democrat Party. But then Omar said two words to Fox News that no one ever thought they would hear. Omar kicked up a national firestorm when she accused Jewish Americans of having dual loyalty. Democrats tried to pass a meaningless resolution bill condemning all hate in an effort to shield Omar from accountability. Fox News host Judge Jeanine Pirro ripped Omar and the Democrats for coddling bigotry. During an essay to open her show, Pirro wondered if Omar supported Sharia law and if that was the reason Omar continually launched anti-Semitic attacks. She's not getting this anti-Israel sentiment doctrine from the Democrat Party. So if it's not rooted in the party, where is she getting it from?" Pirro asked. Think about it. Omar wears a hijab, which according to the Quran 3359 tells women to cover so they won't get molested. Is her adherence to this Islamic doctrine indicative of her adherence to Sharia law, which in itself is antithetical to the United States Constitution?" Pirro wondered. The fake news media erupted in outrage. They accused Pirro of Islamophobia and claimed Pirro engaged in the same dual loyalty smear that Omar did. Some Fox News viewers accused the media of creating a politically correct boogeyman to distract from Omar's comments and attack Fox News. Fox News tried to appease these critics by issuing a statement condemning Pirro's remarks. We strongly condemn Janine Pirro's comments about Rep. Ilhan Omar, the Fox News statement read. They do not reflect those of the network and we have addressed the matter with her directly. Some critics dismissed Fox News' statement because they wanted Pirro fired. But one surprising individual applauded Fox News' rebuke of Pirro. And it was Omar herself. Thank you, at Fox News. No one's commitment to our Constitution should be questioned because of their faith or country of birth, Omar tweeted. Some conservatives were glad that Fox didn't take stricter discipline against Pirro. The fake news media hates Pirro. Pirro is a strong supporter of Donald Trump. So-called journalists would like nothing more than to see all supporters of Donald Trump purged from the media and have their voices silenced. Additionally, the attack on Pirro came after fake news reporter Jane Meyer published a smear piece in The New Yorker alleging Fox was state-run TV and that the network cultivated a close relationship with President Trump that was unhealthy for America. Trump supporters do not believe the barrage of complaints against Pirro and The New Yorker piece occurred in a vacuum. Donald Trump is gearing up for his 2020 re-election campaign. The left is desperate to defeat him, and the professional left and their allies in the media have convinced themselves that bullying Fox News into firing conservative hosts will make it easier for the eventual Democrat nominee to oust Donald Trump. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.